I know that I've been making a lot of video last week, and I've been making a concerted effort to not make as much video, focus more on what's going on around me. It's been pretty interesting. I, I've been taking some time for myself. I've been not so worried about expelling my thought, but just having my thought and learning to deal and live with my thought. But there's three things that I want to talk about. Uh, the first is related to September 11th. Um, oh, I worked in an office. I traveled around the, the place a lot. There were people with guns at, at checkpoints when we first got there. There was just one tag that everybody used, the red tag, to get in and out or to get in. And then they started issuing different colored tags, which gave you different access. But in the beginning, everybody could go anywhere. It was very chaotic. Um, when it happened on September 11th, when it happened, I, I didn't have a television, and I was up in my apartment. I, my friend Jeff called me and woke me up. Or I got a message from him, or he woke me up. I think he woke me up. Maybe I got up around 9, and, and I got the message. He said that we were attacked by terrorists. And I remember I started listening to it, and it was after the first plane had been hit into the building and then the planes the second plane hit and I remember thinking good what was it the Pentagon when the Pentagon got hit I remember having that feeling good I hope there's more What a, what a what a feeling to have it's like it was like it was all built up in my mind and I didn't know and in that moment I was being satisfied by this destruction like it was due to the people to the US to the people buying into this system I've been raised and told to think this system is the best way to go but when it was challenged and attacked I felt like I wanted it to be attacked. I was ashamed of that thought. I haven't really talked about it out loud only once or twice. This is it's truth. So now you know how I felt. I'm not sorry that I felt it. I just, I'm not sorry that I felt it. I'm just more concerned as to why I felt it because I don't, I don't want to see that again. I, I will everything that I do will lead towards a reality where things like that do not happen, where people do not destroy each other. People help each other to live and to create. The second thing I want to talk about is the number 666. I know why it's the sign of the devil. Because if you think a thought three times, it's powerful. And if you think a thought six times, three times, and then three more times, it's so powerful. And if you do that three times, you have power, unprecedented power. And that's what they call the demonic number, the number of the demon, because it's just such incredible power to repeat something, to say something in your mind 18 times, six times, three times, not six times. 666. Six, six. It's not the number itself. It's it's how many. Like numbers, how many. It's the way our minds are repetitive. And Kiff said the number four really is the one with the most power. And the number four was always my favorite number growing up. In, in, the, sorry, in the sorry game where you draw the cards and that the number four made you go backwards four spaces. And I remember it was so useful to go backwards every once in a while. You could get that four and right off the bat if you got a four you just go right back and up into the safety zone and you didn't have to travel around the board because you got that number. And I would use the green piece. The green has always been my favorite color. The green piece. The third thing I wanted to talk about, the power of three, three thoughts, is how our skin is like water. 
these have all been thoughts that have been like burning on my mind. By the way, right now that I'm just you just want to get them all out of my mind so I can like relax a little bit. Uh, so I will relax a little bit. Our skin, people think of it as like a solid, this solid thing, and like the air and the but it's in the water, but it's all the same stuff. It's it's a liquidy substance that is. It's not black and white like skin and air. It's the same kind of stuff, and the moisture is passing from in the skin out into the air and out of the air into the skin and through it and in it and becoming with it. And the moisture in the air we can draw into our skin, into our bodies by focusing, by understanding that the water is coming into us. We are absorbing it. And I think this is something that is going to be very important in the coming future, in the coming days, in the coming years because the heat's going up. It's getting hot, and we're going to need to learn how to survive in the heat. And a big way is to understand how to draw moisture from the air into your skin just by believing that it's happening. It creates it for real. You will notice it. I noticed it. At Burning Man, I noticed it. I was barely drinking any water, but I was focusing on it so heavily, and I kept going to the bathroom in the desert. Because even in the desert, the air has moisture. Don't think of the dryness of it all. Think of how the moisture is there and it is passing into you. And you are allowing it to become into your skin and rejuvenate you. I got a little bit of goosebumps just then. Those are the three thoughts I want to get out. All very important thoughts for me because there are truths of mine right now. Truth is like the ski, the slalom poles on a slalom hill and you're passing by them and traveling around them and past them and, and touching them and then on to the next truth. It's not a building block structure because it changes the truth. There always was that pole that you passed but now there's another one and another one and you see them all and you remember them all and they're all affecting you but you're passing by them and you're traveling around them and if you run into one it's not a wall that stops you, but it hurts. You don't want to run into the truth and get stuck on it. You want to pass by, see it, be aware of it, understand where it is and what it is, and continue on, because there will be more truth. There's food in my mouth. Working at a restaurant. See you guys. See you, humanity.